Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As usual, before we start our lesson, kita hanya akan mulakan dengan berselawat ke atas Rasulullah SAW selama 2 minit. Mari kita ni sama-sama membaca tiga niat penting sebelum memulakan selawat ke atas Rasulullah SAW. Yang pertama, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi perintah Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yang kedua, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi hak Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Dan yang ketiga, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk mendapat syafaat Rasulullah di akhirat kelak. Two minutes from now. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد 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 محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل 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 محمد محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد دعاء قبلم بلاجر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allahumma ftah alayna hikmataka wanshur alayna min hazaini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Ya Allah, bukakanlah ke atas kami hikmat-hikmatmu dan limpahilah ke atas kami khazanah rahmatmu Wahai yang maha permurah lagi maha penyayang Rabbish rahli ya sadri Wa yassir li amri Wahlul uqdatan min lisani Yafqahu qawli Ya Rabku Lapangkanlah untukku dadaku Dan mudahkanlah untukku urusanku Dan Lepaskanlah kekakuan dari lidahku Supaya mereka mengerti perkataanku Amin Amin, amin, amin Ya Rabbal Alamin Today we, be, we will cover about topic operations of integers Specifically multiplication and division of integers So can you please get ready with your notes Page 15 and 16 and your worksheet page 14 and 15. Now, our learning objectives, our LO for this lesson. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to multiply and divide positive and negative integers. Here will be the steps to success, steps to achieve our LO. First, you need to remember same signs will give positive answers. 
You need to remember different signs will give negative answers. You need to recall steps to solve order of operation. You need to circle the key questions. And lastly, you need to solve the value. What is integers actually? The set of integers consists of positive numbers, the number 0 and negative numbers. 0 is neither positive nor negative. Okay? Will be the rules for multiplications and divisions of integers that you need to remember. And if the multiplications of division with the same sign, for example, 4 times 5 or 20 divided by 5, and the answer will be positive answer. Okay? And if the values in different sign, for example, negative 20 divided by 5, so, it will give you negative answer. Please remember this rule to help you to answer the function given much easier. Okay, now, can you please look at example 34? The first one, calculate negative 2 times negative 7. So, here you can see uh, same sign, correct? So, your answer must be positive. Okay, this is applicable for multiplications of integers. Therefore, the answer is 14. The second one, part B, you'll see here in front of 21 is positive and in front of 7 is negative. So, different sign will give you negative answer. Like this, okay. So, 21 divided by negative 7, the answer is negative 3. And part C here, again, we have uh, same sign, negative 100 divided by negative 4. You actually can rewrite like this, negative 100 divided by negative 4. So, this one you cancel out, cancel out, so 100 divided by 4, your answer will be 25. Okay, part D, the answer is 6, part E, the answer is negative 39, and part F, although here we have 3 items, negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 2, you just need to focus with the question given, okay? So, negative 8 times negative 8, same sign, so it will become positive 64. Positive 64 and you need to multiply by negative 2. And the answer should be in negative. Okay. Because positive meet with negative different sign. Different sign mean negative. Okay. So the answer is negative 128. 5A. Negative 23 times 3 plus 25 divided by negative 5. Okay. For here, you need to remember that in bracket is negative integers. Okay. So, here we need to deal with multiplication plus addition and division. Right. And then, we settle with the multiplication first. Negative 23 times 3 will give you negative 69. And the rest of it just follow. Okay. So, here we have addition and division. So, what we're going to solve next, it will be the division. Okay. So, negative 69 plus 25 divided by negative 5. Okay. Different sign. So, different sign will give you negative integers. Okay. So, here negative 69 plus negative 5. Okay, 25 divided by negative 5 will give you negative 5. And then, you need to deal with this one first before you proceed. Plus, meet with minus. Okay, so plus, meet with minus, it will become minus. And you can rewrite like this, negative 69 minus 5. So, recall your previous method that we learned from your year 7, your housing method like this. Okay, so here is plus house and here is minus house. 
follow the sign in front of the value. If the sign in front of the value is negative, put the value in box uh, in negative box like this. Okay, five is negative, so put under negative housing. So we put another box to the bigger value, and as as we can see here, we only have value here, so this part will be the bigger value. Put one box below. And then, here you plus, okay, here you plus all the value here, 69 plus with 5 will give you 74. And since this 74 under negative housing, so your final answer should be negative. Therefore, your answer here is negative 74. Okay, if you forget, Get about this method, please recall, please revise your year 7. Here we have 144 divided by negative 12 times with negative 4. And remember, we put bracket here because this 12 is negative integers and this 4 also negative integers. Okay, so what we're going to solve first, it should be the division. 144 divided by negative 12, different sign, remember, different sign will give you negative answer. So, the answer will be negative 12 times with this negative 4. Here, we have same sign, negative 12 and negative 4. So, the answer should be positive, okay? So, 12 times 4 will give you 48. Therefore, your final answer for example 35B will be 48. Example 35C, it's quite complicated but you need to focus with the bracket. If you see here, the bracket is like this. It means double bracket. Okay, double bracket. So, this bracket will be ended here. Okay, will be ended here. here. So, negative 13 minus, with minus will give you plus, right? It will be like this here, plus. We can rewrite step by step so that you're not confused. So, here, negative mid with plus, the operation, your action will be minus. Your, your action will be minus, but your answer will be minus. We follow the sign of bigger value. Okay, remember that one. And then follow with this, continue with the rest of the values, times with 12, divide by bracket negative 84 plus 52. We have another bracket, so we need to solve this bracket first. Okay, actually you can Together solve this bracket and this bracket, but if you if it make you confused, you can do it step by step. Okay, so now we solve the one in bracket first. Remember minus mid with plus, so your action is minus. Okay, so the next step will be this one. So here we have. Times and division. Do not confuse with this negative. This negative belong to add and this add is actually negative integers. Okay. So times and divide what will come first. It must be multiplication. Okay. Whatever comes first. That will be the first one that you need to solve. Alright. So you will got negative 96 divided by negative 32. Same sign. So you will get positive value and your answer will be 3. Okay? Part D. In this part D, negative 15 divided by negative 3 plus with negative 2 times with 8. Okay? So, here we have division and here we have multiplication. Whatever comes first between this multiplication, multiplication and division, you need to solve that one first. Alright? So, we solve this 
questions. Negative 15 divided by negative 3, remember, same sign, will become positive answer. Okay, 15 divided by 3 will give you 5. The rest of the question, just copy it down. Plus negative 2 times 8, so plus n times what you need to solve first, and it must be times multiplication. So 5 plus negative 16. And remember here, plus and minus meet like this, you need to decide. It's either plus or minus. So if plus meet with minus, it will become minus. Like this, 5 minus 16, and your answer will be minus 11. Move with example 36. Yusuf needs to form a 3-digit number and a 2-digit number from the following integers below. Here we have 2, 3, 5, 8, and 9. Each integer can only be used once, okay? Only one time. What is the maximum different? You can highlight, you can circle the word maximum different. What is the maximum difference between the two numbers formed by Yusuf? That means, if you encounter this kind of questions in exam, maximum difference, so you need to find out the largest numbers and the smallest numbers. Okay, so the largest number will be 985. And the smallest number will be 23. And then difference mean minus. Therefore, the maximum difference will be 985 minus 23. And the answer will be 900, 962. Okay? For this topic, example 37, Amira has the following cards. So, Amira have negative 1, negative 4, 2, negative 6, 4, and 5. Amira is going to choose two cards and multiply the numbers on them. What card should Amira choose to make the largest possible number? Okay, largest possible value. So, think about it. Let's say if you multiply negative 1 and negative 4, it will, four, it will become 4. Negative 4 and 2, you multiply, will become negative 8. So, what make largest possible number? Alright, so the answer will be negative 4 multiplied with negative 6. That will give you 24. Alright, so the answer will be negative 4 and negative 6. Negative 4 multiply times with negative 6 will give you 24. Alright, so this will be the last part for our lesson, for this session. So don't forget to complete your notes, complete your worksheet. And thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As usual, we, we end our class by reciting doa. Doa selepas belajar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma inni astaudi'uka ma'alamtani farduthu ilayya indaha jati ilayhi wala tansani ya rabbal alamin Ya Allah, sesungguhnya aku menitipkan padamu ilmu-ilmu yang telah engkau ajarkan kepadaku dan kembalikanlah kepadaku sewaktu aku memerlukannya kembali. Dan janganlah engkau lupakan aku kepada ilmu itu, wahai Tuhan yang memiliki semesta alam. Amin.